At the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, our physics department is highly collaborative, highly interdisciplinary. It's also very cutting edge physics that we do here. So it's an exciting place to work. We're looking at the boundaries of what we're doing in quantum mechanics and atomic physics in quantum information sciences. The Department of Physics here at Illinois is a very vibrant university. Uh, there's lots of people in different areas of physics. And one nice thing about being in the Midwest is that I think people will end up working much more together. And this is not something that you see a lot at other departments. And I can go down a flight or two of stairs and talk to people doing cold atoms. I can talk to people doing gravity physics or astrophysics. And so this, this kind of friendly work environment makes a huge difference here. I think in my experience in this department, what sets it apart from other departments is that we have both um, in-house expertise, but then with the centers and events that are hosted by the department, we also get constantly new people and ideas coming in. So there's a lot of opportunities for external collaborations as well. So I think one way to describe the Department of Physics is uh, summed up in our concept of what is known as the Urbana style of physics, which is a highly collaborative and interdisciplinary approach to doing research as well as teaching. Our uh, condensed matter program here has historically been one of the top ranked programs in the United States. On the theoretical side, we have an Institute for Condensed Matter Theory, uh, which has uh, experts in first principle calculation, they have an expert in analytical calculations, experts in field theory. And so if you come to Urbana-Champaign, you will be learning from the very best in, in condensed matter theory. For the condensed matter experimental side, one thing that really sets it apart is not only do we have these incredible researchers across a wide breadth of condensed matter, uh, but we also actively collaborate uh, with uh, experts in other departments. So this interdisciplinary approach, I think, really helps in solving problems. Uh, that are sort of at the forefront of condensed matter research. We have a really, really strong quantum information science program here. We have over 25 faculty who are involved in quantum information, looking at things from developing quantum algorithms to trying to create fault-tolerant quantum computers. We're very involved in large research centers from the DOE and the NSF. Uh, we're also a huge core part of IQUIST, which is the Illinois Quantum Information Science and Technology Center that has over 40 members from across campus. And we really all work together to push the boundaries of what I think is going to be the next big thing in physics. The department here has the Illinois Center for Advanced Studies of the Universe, ICASU is what we call it. Um, and what's so amazing about ICASU is it really tries to take many different areas of fundamental physics, some that have never been combined together, and, and use those and get collaboration started. And so ICASU combines astrophysics, cosmology, high energy theory, nuclear physics, computer science. We in fact have people that are beyond just the physics department. We also have statisticians, and we even have philosophers as well. I think we have a lot to offer in this department. So I think students that are excited, they want to explore not just one topic, not just one field, but they want to explore multiple different fields, they would have some immense opportunities here. For me personally, when I joined this department, I was not really sure as to which field I wanted to work with or which faculty did I want as my advisor. And the, the reason this department really helped me was one, it had a good strength of faculty members. And secondly, because uh, it has a sort of atmosphere where it lets you collaborate with multiple faculty members and work on various different fields before really settling on what you want to do. That really helped me. The department actively supports its students. Uh, the graduate director, Lance, has been really like influential in reaching out to the graduate students and making sure that they know the resources that they have available to them and trying to support them in small and big moments uh, recognizes that stuff such as mental health can be really impactful on the graduate student experience and tries to take these things into account in order to make sure that the graduate students are living a good life, not just that they're producing good research. I actually never realized how important it is to be supported. And I think this department does an amazing job in promoting diversity and inclusion. And I don't think there have ever been an occasion where I would feel like I don't belong here. It did play a major role in my development here as a scientist and as a person too. From the very beginning of the program, you'll be given a lot of independence and encouraged to pursue your passions. And also you're always supported in um, whatever decision you make. So I would say the program always encourages you to make decisions that are best for you. We call it the three C's. It's 
community, cooperation, and collaboration. And a rising tide lifts all boats. This is something that we really believe here, that we work well together, we do the best we can do in a place that we can enjoy doing that work. I think this is true for graduate students, certainly true for faculty. We take care of each other and make sure that we can achieve our goals of doing the best science, of helping the world, of making a difference in a community where we care.